I don't know. Let's check out seven, though. Brand new world. That's exciting. Especially exciting when you feel like you've earned it by finding all the other sigils, too. Alright, so let's do some... Let's do, we'll do a little story. We haven't done... Uh, we haven't uh, talked to one of these things for a while, actually. Tell me something. Do you always do as you're told? Am I obligated to answer that question? <laughs> let's be a smartass. If I, if I act like I'm a smartass, maybe they'll believe that I'm human. <laughs> I only ask because I couldn't help but notice the stash of brightly colored knickknacks you're collecting. Don't you think it, it a might odd that the big voice in the sky keeps telling you to find those doodads, yet forbidding you to use them to climb the great big tower in the middle of it all? I'll climb it when I'm good and ready. Okay, no need to get a huffy. You'll be amazed by- you'll be- uh, you'd be amazed by just how many do as they're told without stopping to think for themselves. Maybe you're different. Then again, maybe you're exactly the same. Maybe everyone climbs the tower, and then the only way to win is to stay down here with the mortals. Are you trying to manipulate me? Nope. In fact, I'm all in favor of you poking around up there. If only to see what you find. Must be something juicy if it's forbidden by his highness. Then again, maybe not. I'll be off then. Just wanted to drop in and, and run a little interference. Whatever you do, do take care. You have bigger problems than the voice in the clouds. You don't like to say his name, do you? Terminating support session, done. Resuming library archive session, done. He, he wasn't going to answer that question. Oh, okay. So, if Elohim is God, then this guy that's talking to me about defying... Uh, Elohim's, uh, what he's saying is probably the, the, this game's equivalent of the serpent of temptation. He wants me to go claim the apple of Eden in this garden, is I assume what's going on here. But he could be right in this context, who knows. Athena9.txt She examined the, sim the symbol of the fragment she'd found in the buried city. Again, the owl. What could its significance be? It seemed as if they had been scattered about in the labyrinth by some unseen hand for a purpose that yet eluded. Most likely, the owl was the sigil of the author of these works, which had so... A nebulous memory, as if from some, a previous life. The owl was the symbol of... And the goddess... <laughs> outside, under the moon, or perhaps on the city walls when the wind rose. But there was no time to com to contemplate this further now, for the aut automatons had seen her, and their mechanical arms extended towards the fragment and ran as their beams converged on the... Singularity Discussion 104 Articles! The Singularity is Coming! Co comment 104 User Alex16 Reply Report Okay, you know, the more I think about it, the more I believe that no one is actually worried about AIs taking over the world or anything like that. No matter what they say, what they're really worried about is that someone might prove once and for all that consciousness can arise from matter. And I kind of, and I kind of understand why they find it so terrifying. If we can create a sentient being, where does that leave the soul? Without mystery, how can we see ourselves as anything other than machines? And if we are machines, what hope do we have that death is not the end? What really scares people is not the artificial intelligence in the computer, but the natural intelligence they see in the mirror. That is very true, and actually a lot more along the lines of how I believe things in real life, is I, ju I just- I think we just exist. Nadia Saraba- uh, Sarabhai AMA. Ask me- it's like a- it's like a res- it's like a- it's like a Reddit ask me anything, yeah! <laughs> As one of the found founders of the modern s science of nomadics, Many credit you with inventing the term itself. How do you see the state of the science today? Sorry, I said science twice. <laughs> Not just a pie. Mixed. On the other, on one hand, the existence of the Institute for Applied Pneumatics and a couple of similar organizations is highly encouraging. On the other hand, the degree to which science is seen as serving purely military or contemporary causes is, in my opinion, stopping us from exploring many important avenues of research. In a sense, it's people like Alexandra Drennan who are the real pioneers today, who have the enthusiasm and dedication that the system as a whole seems to be lacking. Do you think technology poses a danger to humanity? No. Technology is just a tool. What we do with it is up to us. The extended life 
The extended lifespan project. Crazy or visionary? Both. Crazy or visionary? Both. Wait, did it say that? Crazy or visionary? Both. Crazy or visionary? Both. Arcaday, is that you? Is it, did they say the same thing again? Weird. Do you... And it just kind of breaks. The, the message just kind of breaks there with a little piece of broken HTML. To Alan Jameson, subject RE Scenario Gen. So far, all the puzzles are solvable and completely within necessary parameters. Alexandra had some more tweaks she wanted to suggest, but I think we're heading in the right direction here. All right, so we're getting a little bit of uh, extended lore there. Wow. Top corner of the screen's getting a little crowded, but now that we have three stars and five uh, pieces of red, look at all that. Look at all that, look at all that story we got. We got so much collected story. I've been doing a lot of reading in this game, Jesus. Uh, so we have, it's probably another piece of a uh, time capsule. When I was in ninth grade, my parents took me to Pompeii. At first, I was amazed by the feeling of walking through an ancient city. But then I suddenly got scared. I realized that I was walking through a real place where real people had lived, people like myself, with mothers and fathers and lives and hopes and dreams. And now it was all gone forever. I ran to my father, crying, and told him about this. And he said, I remember so clearly, he said, yes, but we are here. So long as there are people in the streets, the past isn't really gone. I mean, that's a, that's a fun, dreamy sort of way of thinking about things that people like to say a lot, but ultimately, it's still... It doesn't diminish the tragedy of everyone's fucking dead there because horrifying geological activity created a catastrophic incident. That's, a uh, That still happened. So we have a few red shapes. What the? Red cube over here? I thought you said that, uh... Oh, that's weird. It says red cube and two greens on the right, two reds on the left. Then this thing says... Huh. This also points me... Oh, I guess... I guess when you, when, you, when it's a big circle, everything's in every direction at some point. Let's do the red cube. We'll just go in order to stop from confusing ourselves, even though there's multiple greens in the area that'd be easier. Windows into a labyrinth. Okie dokie. See if I can figure this one out. So there's the red cube. That's our first ever cube, by the way. Uh, our, our two by two, our squ first square. Sorry, it's a two-dimensional object. Or, or I guess in Tetris it's 2D, and on a puzzle, on a puzzle plane it's 2D. But as a floating glyph, it's clearly in 3D. So it's a... What would you call that? It's not cubic. But it, I don't know. I'm forgetting my geometry vocabulary a bit. Is it called a prism if it still has four sides? Is it a rec... Is it a cubic prism, maybe? So this probably still won't say shit to me, right? Divine spirits, I am in great need, and I seek your counsel. No messenger will aid you until you find, discover its resting place. Yeah, they, they don't. They don't care about me. I wonder if they're. I wonder if the, if those help messages actually are usable ever, or if it's supposed to make you give you that. I wonder if they. I wonder if they never answer you ever. Period. Like, what if that's supposed to be like, the? It's what if that's supposed to symbolize the feeling of like trying to pray to God and not getting a response, no matter how many times you do it, and how loyally you do it every time. It'd be an interesting uh, gameplay metaphor to do something like that. Okay, so, obviously connect that. That's how we start this puzzle. The first step in a laser puzzle is always the most obvious one. It's when they have 17 more steps after that, you, that you start to get curious about how you're supposed to proceed. So, right, let's check the left side first. We have a barrier. Is that a locked gate? Nope, there's no lock on it that I can see, so it's, that's, staying, that's staying closed. A red, oh, a red receptacle leads to, me, leads to a jammer. Now, the jammer... It's a very powerful tool at any point in this game, so we're definitely gonna want that. I say that, but it, I'm stupid to say that because obviously you need everything all the time. I'm just pointing out that, like, hey, that's particularly... Yeah, that it Actually, frankly, jammer kind of complicates... Oh! Connector. So that's pl that place is closed, so our next goal is to connect to this... There we go, the jammer way back here. Oh, wait, actually, can I get the, uh... I get the jammer from here. Ta-da! So the jammer's ours. Anything in this gate? Everything's locked up? Okay. So... If I use this... Do I want to jam that one? Maybe not. Maybe I want to jam this gate up here. Right. Jam this gate. 
And now I can use this connector through the window. Because that previous gate I used is no longer... There's no reason to keep it open. That opens that gate. And since I used the jammer, I can get through here. There might be a reason that I need the jammer on this side, though. So I might have to connect it around to get here again. But we'll, we'll check that later. Uh, hello, red. A red receptacle leads us to forward progress in that direction. Let's see if I found anything new by opening the gate back here. What's this? Nope, there's nothing here. It's just, that's irrelevant to the puzzle. It's just a random area. Ooh, another connector. Okay. Okie dokie. So, the dispenser's over there. But we have no reason to use it anymore. Uh, one thing that's noteworthy is that we don't need... Huh. Yeah, we don't need this gate any open anymore because it was just how we got that connector, so that's done. I can move that connector somewhere else now. Probably gonna want to move this connector backwards a bit. I forget, was there a connector? Did I have a receptacle I was trying to go for around here? Nope. Not, not unless I need to use this one specifically. So. Now my goal is to connect these together. Oh, where's my other connect? Oh, it's all the way back here. Oh, I can, I can probably actually do that. Careful, get it all in line of sight. There we go, I just need to move the second one so that's in line of sight now. There we go, we'll see how this works. It might not work at all. We'll see what happens. Back up. There we go, it's connected. So let's see if, if, I get, if anything insignificant happens when I get a little further in here. Okay, so we have another jam- Oh god, there's two more. Is there another, is there another connector in here at all? Nope, so we're gonna have to do some creative... Oh, well, I don't think the next chamber has one either. No, it doesn't. Okay, so we're gonna have to be creative about how we reorganize these things. So, step one, we need to get uh, this laser as far as possible. Okay, here we go. I need to put this laser through this window so that I can just skip like 90% of this area. It's clearly my first goal. Obviously, a, a problem here is I'm gonna need this jammer to get through doors at all because... There we go. Once I move things, all the doors are gonna close on me, so I'm gonna need that jammer to proceed. But let's, uh... Try to get this in a good spot. For maximum line of sight-ish. Careful. It's probably as good as we're gonna get. Okay. Now we're gonna backtrack. Grab this connector, move it over by the door. Probably should have moved the jammer first. Either way, we got this just fine. I do enjoy the uh, sprint button. That is handy to have. Okay. So where's our... How far can we get with our connector? Maybe I should have picked a different spot. Oh well. The important thing is that this connects, right? Success? Success. Now let's see how far we can make it from here. So... Oh god, it's around the corner. This is nuts. I'm gonna need a better angle, clearly. Yeah. We're gonna need a better angle. Okay. I think ultimately we're gonna want to use the, uh... We're probably gonna want to use the jammer on this door, ultimately. But for the meantime... Yeah, connect there. And then let's, we'll tell it to connect to this one, but I won't be able to do that until I get in a better position. So we'll just keep it line of sight so that there is, it is possible at least. There we go. Best angle po possible, I think. While keeping an eye of, line of sight with the window. Okay. This one will connect when I, when I get it connected. That other one will connect when I move that one around. Thankfully, we still have the, j the uh, scanner. I mean, jammer. That was some, <laughs> that was some high speed uh, jammer placement. Alright, is it somewhere out? There we go. Alright, connected. So now it's all... It's interesting, because you, you have to do a really complicated way of getting through the puzzle, obviously, at the beginning. And then it's like, alright, now make this system more efficient. In a way you couldn't before, but now you have access to, because you've made forward progress and moved some things around. So obviously now I'm able to click on this. By placing this gets me to the last chamber, which I also am stuck in, unfortunately. So now the question is, how do I get through this gate? I either need to use... I either need to somehow get a laser through here, which doesn't necessarily seem possible? 
Is it possible to get a laser through here with the number of beams I have? There has to be one. One has to be out there to get the first, the first laser. One has to be in here to get the next laser. Okay, yeah. So, I think I've just confirmed it's mathematically impossible to get a laser to this door. Because I don't, with the number I have. But what I can do, is I can do with a trick I used in the previous chamber. To keep a, keep a laser, keep a door open by putting a, a, a laser in there. Now, if, if I were to cross that beam and get stuck in, and get stuck in front of it for too long, it would close itself. And I'd have to jerry-rig things a bit, and that'd be awkward, but anyway. Alright, I can't put it on the last door until I actually open it again. Oh, right. Going too fast. Get your jammer. I need to jam this door from the opposite end to keep it open so I can grab the connector and bring that through. There we go. So we're learning a way- we're learning methods where we can use a, uh... Like, we've already had multiple times where we used a jammer on both sides of a door to keep it open while we move a jammer through the door, like when we were, like, bunny hopping two jammers. Now we're using- now we're starting to use a sequence of puzzles where we have, uh, jammers and connectors, and we have to figure out how to bunny hop those too. And it's, all, it's also totally doable. There we go. That's our sixth red piece. Everything's open. Uh, I don't think there's a star in this area, because when I ran around, I don't- I don't distinctly remember any specific zone being- yeah. I'm pretty sure that I've opened and closed every possible door, with no exceptions, and checked er and I think I've set foot in every part of this level. So as far as I know, there's no star anywhere in this zone. Uh, and I don't have the bunny- I don't have the, uh, the bounce- the, uh, jump cube, so I can't use that to get any further anywhere either, so... I don't think there's a star here. Granted, there's some zones where I don't even know where the star is, let alone how to get to them. Alright, so that's our first red cube, and we have up to six red pieces now. Jesus, at the beginning of this particular recording session, I had zero re I had zero reds, now I have six. We're making progress, so this next- next one's gonna be green, I think. Oh, we have a whole passageway down there. So here's a green L. Ooh, we have some, uh, QR codes. Seek out those in this world that would help you. Though only one of us can transcend, we will all share in both the burden and its rewards. You've changed. Everything I do now, I do for those who come after me. Yet in so doing, I find peace for myself as well. This paradox is the foundation of my existence. The shepherd. The shepherd and the dog. Okay. Makes sense. If, you're, if your name's gonna be Shepherd, you probably are gonna be there for the people after you. I'm gonna check this side path. It's not a- it's not a puzzle chamber, but maybe we'll find a star? Or maybe another weird console that gives us more story. This last time I found a console that was out in the middle of nowhere, that seemed to be the most particularly revealing console we've found so far, I think. If I remember correctly. It's, granted, it's been a while. We have a big rocky beach. That just kind of dead ends out here. In the beginning were the words, and the words made the world. I am the words, the words are everything. Where the words end, the world ends. You cannot go forward in an absence of space. Repeat. In the beginning were the words. Okay. So that's an important piece of story. So we, we heard that we, we, heard, we got a piece of that last time, but I must have run into the water too fast, so. I ended up resetting before we heard the rest, but it, it's actually like a repeating message. Oh, look up there. That's an interesting platform area up there. That seems like a place where a star could be if we could figure out how to get it any higher here. Maybe. Or maybe not. I don't know. Uh, I'll take a look around, but uh, we did- we got a piece of that message before, but it never- it didn't finish talking because we- I interrupted it by moving too far- too far into the water and clearly creating like a death state. So, I can proceed on this ledge or proceed down there. I'll stay up here, because if I see something down there, I can always hop down, but... It's hard to get back up on a ledge. Keep an eye around. Just trying to be thorough in case there's something cool. Just lurking around, like a time capsule, or a monitor, or even a star. Because we've already established that there are going to be stars in the open world. In fact, that might be where most of them are, ultimately. So we're back on the beach. Proceed forward a little bit. I'm gonna stay on the beach, possibly all the way around the the uh, islands, until I'm sure that we don't have anything to see down here. Oftentimes, they don't let me explore outward. They have they surround the. I've I've had a few open world areas that were basically mesas where you couldn't go anywhere because if you tried to go any lower, you just fall and you die. We have a little crevice there. Or we have a side path that continues there. Let's check the ravine. 
It's a cool looking ravine, but is there anything in it? Nope. Back in the test chambers. I'm gonna continue to try to circumnavigate the island. Just to see what we find. It must stop eventually, because when I went the other direction, it did stop. It didn't let me go- Oh, something's over there. I see something that is, is a monitor. Okay. Or a terminal, I mean. Well, terminals have monitors too, I guess, but you know. <gasps> it's blue screened! It's blue screened! Can I read it? Your pr a problem has been detected, and Windows has been shut. I can zoom, can't I? Yeah, I can. A problem has been detected, and Windows has been shut down for damage to your computer. Problem seems to be caused by the following file spcmdcon.system. Page fault in non paged area. If this is the first time you're seeing this, this stop screen, something, something. I think this, that's all generic. Yeah, that, that's all. It looks like it's all generic messages about uh, what you see every time you have a blue screen. So the only relevant piece of information, potentially, is spcmdcon.sys. S-P-C-M-D-C-O-N. Huh. I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture of this real quick with my cell phone. Because that might be some kind of, like... This, I can almost see this being some kind of puzzle. So... Like, maybe that's a code at some point is S-P-C-M-D-C-O-N. Okay. We'll keep an eye out. Probably not... Could be completely pointless and random, but... I'm trying to be thorough about this, just like in Grimrock. It is funny how this is, so, in so many ways, kind of a bridge between how I handled Grimrock in a Dragon Age in style. But anyway, we're done with the island. Aside from a blue screen computer, there wasn't much hanging out out there, so we're gonna go back to dealing with these puzzles. I believe I, I didn't do the green one yet, right? It's, I stopped before I did it? Yeah. Okay, so green L shape is our next pu uh, puzzle. Anything over there? No, nope, don't think so. Locked from inside. I'm not gonna be- this will probably be pretty easy if we're going back to green after doing six reds. Almost back, pretty much back to back. So, green green dispenser. I mean, sorry, red dispenser, obviously. Red door, okay. Connect those. Keep an eye out for anything around here that might be relevant. Or, or a hidden star. So far they have not tried to just hide a star behind a wall yet. I keep checking to see, like, maybe there'll be a star behind this ruin, but so far that has not been the case. They've always been behind locked doors of some kind, and even if they- so they're- they might, they might be in hidden locations, but even when they're hidden in hidden locations, they're usually locked in some way. So it's like, hey, congrats, you found me. Good luck getting it- getting to me, though. So... Clearly, I need to connect to the previous chamber. Yeah, that's not gonna work. We're gonna have to move this one back. There we go. We have to try a different direction. Alright. Better. Now let's see what I can connect to from here. All right, next door is open. But how to, now we need to figure out how to get to the next door, though. Of course. The question is, do we get another connector? Oh, okay. Blue to blue. I bet behind that blue door is probably another connector. Or maybe there's a connector in this room. But we need do we do need another connector to get past the next door. Take a little closer look. Let's go to first person. I can't see shit. Nope, nothing hiding in the trees? Okay. Let's be thorough here, look for secrets. Not even secrets, it could just be the basics of the puzzle, too. There's the green shape. Oh, there's a connector. It's no big deal. Well, I might as well just go dot dot and finish the figure out- Oh, I failed to connect properly. Might as well find out where the, uh, red takes me. Another con- Another connector, holy shit. Is there anything secret? Just chilling out around here. Just being thorough, like always. No, nope. okay. So now we need to figure out the blue thing. If I figure out, I mean, just do this. Maybe, maybe it'll be a long puzzle in a moment here. But so far, am I back at the beginning? No, I'm not. Okay. Oh God. Okay. There's a red all the way in here. That might be a problem. Unless that blue is a short- that blue- Connecting that blue actually might be a shortcut that makes the rest of it easier. So we'll use this one, because this one's not serving a purpose anymore. And we'll just connect blue to blue. This might- be, I have to be careful to just- I have to be careful to take this puzzle at its face value and just move forward. I'm- I keep overthinking things, like, several steps ahead, but it might be way easier than I'm worried about it being. Yeah, okay. So this is blue. Blue. 
Yeah, okay, all I had to do was move the blues and now I can move the reds because at this point, uh, yeah, at this point, if I move the reds, unlike the previous puzzles we've done that were actually hard, uh, moving these reds is not gonna break sequence with the lasers, so I can just connect things as I, as I, as I like. Okay, so put that in the doorway. There we go. Yeah, this is an easy puzzle. I just have to be. I have to, I have, I have to just keep pressing forward instead of thinking about it too much, because I was about to freak out about the devastating amount of consecutive lasers, but then I realized that they never. It's not an isolated puzzle the way that they were in the previous ones. That was like an. That was an easier version of some of the hard stuff I've done so far. Okay. Yeah. Let's have a. Let's frolic casually through the remaining greens, which might just be this one actually. I think this area was two greens, three reds. So we've already read those ones. That's Shepard. Was there a random note around here? I, ne I never walked through this hallway. No. Nope. No random note here. But there was one to the side of this one, so let's check that. I have read a message on a wall that speaks of a world of endless sand. I would like to make it far enough to see that. Ah. Oh. A little bit of a teaser about future content to make me want to con continue is the idea that, oh, there's another whole area somewhere. Okay. Neato, buddy. So, next green world? Trapped inside. So I assume that means that the second world, or maybe the third world, is sand instead of desert. That'd be cool. I would like to s I would like every building, A, B, and C, to feel distinctly different from each other. So we have blue. It's currently okay, it's currently connected to the back to that door, so if I move that it'll close. There's a blue receptacle on this side too though, so. Ta-da! You're no longer trapped inside. Oh, wait. There we go. Hey! They're teaching me the fact that I can hold up a- I can hold the door open from the other side and then- and then move the thing that's currently holding it open. They ju they just taught me how to bunny hop, uh, connectors. I just figured out on my own in earlier puzzles first. So... Really? That's it? Okay. I did it. <laughs> that's the whole puzzle! <laughs> wow, that was a fast one. Okay. So what's left of this area? So we have two reds, right? Yeah, I think we're all out of yellows. I think I solved all the yellows because we hit, we unlocked both items in here. Question is, which one do I go first? I assume they want me to go around the whole world counterclockwise, maybe, because that looks very dramatic, like it's final. So the, this one's just sort of unceremoniously on the floor. So maybe the one up there is the is the is the ending. That's the that's the uh, ravine I explored before. All right, we'll check this one first. 